What's up, ladies and gentlemen, YouTube, everybody out there? This is Philip 20. I'm going to show you on our kilowatt meter. We have five watt uh, five hours currently. Okay, and this is on the fridge that I've got uh, installed currently. We have a draw of 51.8 watts, and the max is 65 watts. We've seen, and uh, the minimum is 23 watts. I just unplugged it and plugged it back up so you can see exactly where it's at. So the kilowatt hour so far is 0 0.4 kilowatt hours for five hours so far. So you can do the math. I mean, but here's where I'm going to go with this. I've just started it up yesterday and I ran it all day with all the food inside of it. And basically I want to make sure that everything's going well. I mean, with the amp draw that I've got right here, I mean, I could run this thing off of a 300 watt um, inverter, but the only thing about this is, is that it has to have a heater element, which draws about 8.5 amps, which would require about 900 watts to 1,000 watts, but the compressor can run off of 300 watts or less probably even much less look it, it went up to 74 watts 67 I mean that that is crazy low for a refrigerator I mean look at that we're pulling 0 0.8 amps for a refrigerator to run I mean it's 122 volts is 0 0.8 amps I mean the amp draw is so low uh, it, it it runs more but the amp draw is so much lower this is the uh, inverter compressor on the fridge. I'm gonna put this down here. Go ahead and let you guys take a look at the fridge. This is the fridge I got for 500 bucks. It's an LG. It's got an inverter compressor. You can see right there. I'll zoom in for you. It's not focusing. Sorry, I'm sorry it didn't focus. Forgive me. It, it's an inverter compressor. So it's got the, you know, this is the first door. It's got a door inside of a door. So there's an extra door and there's closed so closed off areas with low flow. So air doesn't flow out quickly whenever you use it. So you put your common items like your milk, your juice, your water, your uh, kids juice. You put your common items that you use, you know, ketchup or chocolate if you like to drink chocolate milk, mayonnaise, I don't, Usually we use mustard. Ranch dressing. I use ranch quite a bit. All right, so that's the first door. Let's use, open the second door. And here's the cover. So it doesn't have big openings. It's got small openings, you know. And this is wasting energy. So the compressor is going to kick in even more. So here's our, you know, opening here, and there's another opening at the top. So that door is there to prevent a lot of loss on this side. So. You know, you put your stuff that you're going to use more often on this side so you don't have the compressor kick in full blast. It's on real low speed. So you can see we got, you know, stupid huge amounts of uh, space. Right? That's a crazy huge amount of space. This has been busted real bad. This has been busted. And this was busted. The rack in the middle was bent down, but I was able to fix a majority of it. This was bowed down. There's a metal bar all the way across. I was able to take it apart, bend it straight, and then put it back into the plastic. And it's it still kind of bows a little, I guess. And it's not as much as it did. Another tray that's downstairs is busted real bad. Also, the doors was bent down on the hinges. So I had to actually take uh, channel locks and bend them up, but that was pretty easy to fix those. And this wasn't closing because the doors, this wasn't uh, attached because the doors had been bent down where the whole fridge had been dropped. I mean, I got it for 500 bucks with no warranty. Now, how I'm doing the freezer, let's go ahead and look down here at our freezer. I've got our soda bottle, if you can't tell, I like Coke. Soda bottles, you know, full of water. And then 
or you know foods and stuff like that I don't have a lot of space because the drawer for the upper part of the freezer was busted really bad so there's another drawer that goes above this drawer it was busted pretty bad but I think I'm gonna be able to fix it I don't know but it's, it's really cool so I mean and then that's basically it it's we've also got this thing right here I don't have water hooked up yet um, this light uses like two watts this light is like barely bright you know but to well to the camera it's really bright to be honest with you it is it looks pretty bright to the camera but to me it's not I mean it's really not bright to me but at nighttime it's it's bright enough to light up the floor so you know exactly where you're going and I like it I like it I don't think I'm gonna run this thing with the light on all the time cuz I don't know I just I like to be able to see when I'm walking around it's also if you got kids you can uh, unlock it or you can lock it to where none of this stuff is activated here's the temperature you will turn the temperature up to 35 between I think it's 35 to 45 or 40 let me unlock it like if you got kids you want to unlock it so it goes down to 33 to 30 uh, 46 degrees and I know this uh, 35 on the fridge is fine I could go much lower to negative 6 to uh, 8 degrees Fahrenheit so I, I think I'm gonna do uh, 5 let's, let's you know I think I had what we have it at 3 let's do a 3 3 is pretty cold That'll probably increase the uh, amount of load under it because the freezer, I think, is the biggest load of the system. This is Smart Grid Connect, and it's totally useless if you're uh, doing solar. Just ignore it. I connect it, and I can't get it to read nothing. Besides, I can change the values of this. That's it. Uh, I can turn the ice maker on and off with my smartphone. I mean, gosh, why would I need to do that? The smart grid allows you to connect to your grid if you're using a certain type of grid. I'm not sure because this ain't going on the grid. It's going on my magnum inverter. So uh, that's pretty cool. It's also got a fresh air. Uh, I can turn the fresh air on or fresh air off. Right now it's really clean inside so I'm not too worried about doing fresh air. I'm recirculating the air inside the refrigerator and the compressor runs and removes the heat but I mean I ain't got no reason to uh, switch to fresh air so I'm gonna leave it off so, since I got kids I'm gonna hold this button down and I'm gonna lock it and that way the kids can't never touch any of the buttons no more so I mean the lights on I got the ice maker off so I don't want, you don't have to worry about it uh, I do need to run a refrigerator line see my old refrigerator was right here and it doesn't fit I mean, we measured it and expected that it wasn't going to fit we already knew it wasn't going to fit our water line is behind our, our, our rice I love rice so our water line is behind our rice and now I've uh, contacted some people into redoing cabinets here you know we're going to have these cabinets redone and the ones on the top redone and we might consider moving the fridge back there instead of just adding a water line because I could do the water line myself you know in the floor over there it'd be pretty easy because uh, the way my uh, my floor is laid out underneath um, it's gonna be easy to get to no big deal so I mean basically I'm working towards stainless steel appliances we've got this one that's got a damaged drawer I think uh, we put too many pots inside the drawer and it wouldn't close all the way so that kind of screwed it up and then we got the dishwasher uh, a home uh, home repair uh, warranty um, bought us a dishwasher and they didn't want to buy us a energy efficient one but we paid a little extra and got an energy efficient one so we got like 400 bucks or 300 bucks in the dishwasher installed and everything you know, this fridge right here we got uh, right now moved in we've got 550 bucks in this fridge put in right there now there ain't no water connected to it yet 
But I do have a water line, and it won't cost me nothing to put a water line in. But, I mean, uh, I'll show you. When I was moving it, I dinged it right there. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, but also, you can see at the bottom. Here, I'll show you at the bottom how bad this thing was slammed. All the way across the bottom on both sides was wrecked. This whole thing then dropped really, really hard. So, uh, so basically, I'm trying to run it. Uh, I've done some tests with it, running it all night long, and it runs really, really well on the solar array. And it doesn't consume nowhere near as much power as I was expecting. I think it's because it doesn't draw heavy loads uh, a lot. So I'm going to do a lot of tests with temperatures and try to bring the, the power consumption down as low as possible but acceptable for children and milk. And, you know, you get the picture, everybody. I want this thing to do as efficient as possible, but I also want to keep it safe as possible. So you get the picture. This is what's going on. We got this fridge, and uh, we're pulling 62 to 70 watts out of it under the compressor running now if I was to uh, put fresh food in there it uh, goes up a lot the amp draw goes up a lot but then it goes back down after about 10 hours or so so it's a, it's a variable speed compressor and it, it's pretty efficient and I'm pretty happy with it so far I'm pretty stoked excited to death now if you're asking you know, what I did with the other refrigerator, remember I had two refrigerators. Well, the next project is I'm going to take the refrigerator that's downstairs, I'm going to take the compressor out of it after I recover the refrigerant, and I'm going to turn it into an air compressor so I can pump up my tires because I don't own an air compressor. And I don't want a big air compressor. I just want something I can plug in the solar array and not have to worry about it. And also, it's going to be quiet. Mm, extremely quiet. Also, I'll have a vacuum pump, so it'll be a compressor and a vacuum pump at the same time. You guys are going to like this. It's going to be cool. See you next time. It's Phil 20 with solar power, electricity, and electronics, and I'm going to holler at y'all later. Peace. Hello, lazy to get gentlemen. Thanks for watching all the way to the end of the video. There's lots more content coming. Click the subscribe button below. Make sure you come back for more because there's great content always coming up every day in this channel. See you next time. Peace.